Hello and welcome to Isha Time and Gidu All Day with the news in brief. Several people are feared dead after the Somali Liu police exchange fire with the Oromo police force in southern Ethiopia. The renewed clashes in the town has also triggered further displacement of people who crossed into Kenya. Clashes between the Garre tribe on the Somali side and the Oromo communities in southern Ethiopia has been going on for several years with one side accusing the other of encroaching on grazing lands. Residents told several media outlets that Sunday's incident began when police for the Somali region, known as Liu Police, and members of the Garre tribe opened fire at a police station manned by the Oromo police force. Reports of heavy casualties in, in Moriale, Ethiopia, after a day of intense fighting. Residents say several people fear dead. More refugees fleeing the fighting, crossing into Kenya, tweeted Emmanuel Igunza of the BBC. Spokesperson for the Oromo Regional Administration, Nagari Lencho, said in his Facebook post that the attack against citizens was unacceptable and condemnable and that the concerned authorities need to take the necessary measure to stop the attack. On March 10, 2018, Soldiers for the command post, the military body overseeing the state of emergency in the country, randomly shot at residents of Moyale going about their daily lives, killing at least 13 people. That incident sparked the migration of about 40,000 people into the Kenyan side of the border. Tensions remain high today in Moyale, a town that borders Kenya. The town has seen the deadliest year in its recent history that is mired in clashes and displacement. A three-day social media campaign is underway calling for the release of Andarga Chotsege, a leading political figure detained in Ethiopia. Andy Chotsege, a vocal critic of the Ethiopian regime and the leader of an opposition party, was kidnapped at the Yemeni airport four years ago and rendered to Ethiopian authorities. The British father of three has been held in incommunicado. His 90-year-old dad was the only person allowed to visit. Several political prisoners and journalists were released in the last few months as a result of mounting pressure against the regime within the country, as well as pressure from the international community that condemns human rights abuses by the regime in Addis Ababa. Andy was sentenced to days in absentia in 2009 on trumped up terrorism charges. His family says the British government has not used its leverage and pushed for the release of the political prisoner on death row. Landslides caused by heavy rains killed at least 18 people in Rwanda's northern and western province over the weekend. Filippi Habishuti, the director of the Response and Recovery Unit at the Ministry of Disaster Management, told Reuters that more than 200 people had now died in floods in the last four months. He said the four months have been far worse than last year and other years. People dug through mud today to search for three people missing in Western province. From January to May this year, at least 200 days have been re recorded and 215 people have been injured by the heavy rains that hit the country. According to latest figures released by the Ministry of Disaster Management and Refugees Disasters, have also damaged over 4,500 hectares of crops and almost 10,000 houses have been destroyed. That ends the news. Thanks for watching.